Borrow? Feel free to go first, you don't have to wait for me. Especially since you're not doing any work collecting the loot anyway. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the Sacred Lands? As the Nora War Chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. His mom. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. Hmm, as a reminder, I feel like we've gotten some hints about it already, but the Nora are a very... They're a very traditional sort of tribe. They believe in staying within their own sacred lands, and Aloy, the reason why she was even able to leave, like she was granted the permission to leave, was because she was appointed the position to be a seeker. But everyone else normally doesn't leave. And they believe that... They believe that the world around them, they have to respect it and... They have a more religious view on the machines that we see here. I think in the beginning, people were all pretty resistant towards me. Because I'm motherless and an outcast. But after saving everybody, hopefully people are more okay with me. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's more than one! Three of those things. And if they slaughtered all those Osram, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. And there she goes. <laughs> eh, I've made it this far before. Just need to get over to the shuttle to figure out how to make it fall into the basin. You know what a shuttle is? Is that the shuttle they were using to launch into space? Oh boy. Bushes and blights. They look the same, but they're different. If I can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. When we see bushes, that's how we know there's monsters around. Machines around. Supply boxes. Oh, we can see boxes in this view as well. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh god, Aloy. Wrong button. Wrong button. Yeah, we'll just slowly look around a little bit first, okay? We're not in a hurry. Come over here. Hey, what the heck? Come over here! You're doing something strange! Come look at the rock! Fine, don't look at the rock then. I'll... come to you. I'll have my rock back, thank you. Come over here again. Yeah. Okay, that works. No hard feelings, buddy. It's just the nature of nature. Survival of the fittest. And all that good stuff. Oh, I didn't mark that one. Oh my god. 
Why don't you come over here? Why don't you come over here? The silent strike, you can activate it from pretty far. So that's the one really good thing here. Wait, these green bushes don't count, right? Only the red ones? This place is big, we gotta be careful, there might be more. Look at your path! Thankfully, they're so predictable. But that's only because this is one of the smallest machines that we're gonna come across, probably. Later on, this is not really gonna be the case anymore. Are we good? No. Oh, there's a little door here. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I know there are more boxes around here. Grapple point. Oh, there's so much goodies to be had. Now, do I actually need all of this? Especially since I already have, like, 10 berries. <laughs> Maybe not. But you can never be too sure. There. That ladder can get me up to the tower. Yeah, these patches are even bigger than before. It's scary. Okay. What? Well, the metal's making a sound that's... I don't want to hear that. Ah! Okay, there's a rail up there. I think I can reach it if I launch myself off that grapple point. Tap circle before reaching a grapple point. doing it. So all along, there were three giant machines killing Osirum and leaving acid everywhere. <sighs> Great. <laughs> eh, nothing, nothing we can't handle, right? It's just three. It's the same problem, multiply three times. Well, that sounds good. Wait, I want that box. It's like the little IQ question. If it takes one minute to cook an egg, how many minutes does it take to cook two eggs? One minute, because you can cook them both at the same time. Yeah, that's how that works, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's really high up here. It's getting bad. Don't look down! <sighs> Made it. Oh my god. Easy. Don't think about it, just go. Go. Uh, uh, I was close. One rickety tower down. On to the next. Everything's submerged. Done. Done. Oh, look at those cliffs. That's beautiful. I won't be able to make that jump. There is a cable here. Maybe I can ride it to the other side. Hell yeah. Uh... Your plan, right? Oh my god. Uh, well, nowhere to go but up. This place is barely holding together. Hey, huh? onward and upward. Huh? Oh! Huh? oh. 
Looks like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. Oh, but there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. No difficulty in that at all? We just gotta do it. Yeah? Okay, I can see quite a few guys around here already. More machines in my way. Whoa! There's no bush. I need a bush. Hey, buddy. Do you like that rock? Want to go check it out? I need you to look a little bit further away. Oh, there's more. There's one guy in the back that we didn't scan. Turn around. Somehow made it through. There's one more dude I saw. It was walking around in the back just now. I didn't tag it. Well, we'll have to be careful then, huh? Did all that. Okay, this is a really small bush. Oh, but if I come back here, it's gonna see the dead burrower. It's not good either. Where was that last one? Was I imagining things? Oh, there's a... Uh, whatever we're looking for. The controls. Its path is basically straight across here. Control console might be in there. Perfecto. Is that really it? Just three? I thought I wasn't crouched. Why are you coming? Okay. Got this place to myself now. Okay. Fantastic. Wow, it's been going pretty well since the first time. We'll gather everything. All the supplies. Even though our pouch is full, it says that it gets sent to my stash. So it's not like we're picking it up for no reason. We'll eventually get to use it. Okay. Time to crush those machines down below. For now? Let me have a look around first. Okay. It's not really working. Come on. The 
the shuttle's caught up in those cables. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Oh! Now how to get up the tower? We're being really loud right now. Nobody knew came, right? No? Okay, good. Scanning with my focus could help here. Okay, give me a sec. There's actually quite a little bit back here as well. Oh, you would think this old stuff would come crashing down. The one time I actually do want you to come crashing down. No. You keep holding on by a cable. By a thread. <laughs> Wrong button. Dang you. Structural support. Pull that beam down. It might drop the access lift. Okay. What's that? Box. Thank you. Right, so now we gotta use the, the pole caster again. <sighs> Those must be really strong cables. Lasting a thousand years. God. Let's hurry up. Here. We're being too damn loud. I've got to climb closer to the shuttle to detach the cables. The whole place is kind of coming down already. Oh. Come on, come on. And all this time, Varl's just been watching me. <laughs> Maybe he can't even see where I am right now. He's just wondering what's happening. Okay, that creaking doesn't sound good. I'm gonna have to detach those cables quick. But if it doesn't sound good, then maybe if we don't do anything, we just stand around, it'll eventually fall anyway. Wouldn't it? It should. This should be the right spot. There. That connector is holding the cables together. It should break if I shoot it. Thank you. One down. I just need to climb higher. And attach the second set of cables. Can I really not shoot it from here? Scaling an ancient rickety tower with killer machines waiting down below. <laughs> Maybe Rob was right. But no turning back now. It's your specialty, Aloy. You know how Elizabeth Sobek is basically one of the smartest people of her entire generation? The fact that we have the same genetic code as her means that it should mean that we're equally smart. We might not have been born in an age where electronics and computers are prevalent, but we're very good at stuff like survival, hunting. Yeah, I think it all does translate over. Intelligence is intelligence. And in every era, Elizabeth Sobek must save the world. Almost there. There's the other connector. Yes! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. 
Of course. I guess we're finishing this the hard way. I need to take this thing down to get to the data center. Okay, where's that weak spot? Slitherfang. Oh. Weak spot, shock orb, usable weapon. Data nexus. Tag part. The spinny wheel stuff? Oh god! Chill, chill. <laughs> I can't aim. Hold on, hold on. Let me just... We gotta get the spinny canister thingy. But its mouth is in the way. Oh my god! Dude! Oh my god, no way. This is why we always have to craft arrows. Hey, should we make it brittle? Maybe that'll help. Okay, I don't have time to worry about this. Oh! Uh, I don't think it's brittle yet, actually. <laughs> Try sitting at me now! Yes! Yeah! Here. Those canisters are exposed now. I should aim for them. Okay. You mean those canisters? I can't see if I'm getting them. There's smoke everywhere. Woo! Calm down, calm down. Ah! I thought you were down! Oh no, it's free! Oh my god. Well, there's barely any room for me to even hide here. Free. I gotta take this thing down fast. A trap maybe? Frost ammo? I don't have frost ammo. My focus might find something I can use around here. Frost! Uh, I don't even have the equipment. Do I? Let's see. Oh! Yo! Calm down, calm down, calm down. Are you frosted up? I think so. Oh my dear goodness. Instead, finally. Slitherfang. The data center should be straight ahead. I guess Farl's gonna have to find another way there. Good thing we only have to kill one. Oh my goodness. Are there entries for the monsters or the machines here? Yeah. Slitherfang, combat heavyweight. An enormous fast combat machine that can lash out from long range. Once it assumes a coiled stance, it has access to its full arsenal as its rotating body parts snap into place. Burrower, recon, lightweight. 
A common recon machine that emits a high-pitched sound to alert allies and stun enemies. It can tunnel underground and resurface in unexpected locations. Holy crap, there's like 20 different variants. What is going on? Scrounger, acquisition, lightweight. An agile scavenger, often seen in packs. It can swiftly consume torn-off machine parts, close in to bite enemies, or hurl shock attacks from afar. Yeah, I felt like in the middle of battle there. I scanned it in the beginning, but in the middle of battle, I wasn't really doing too much scanning. I probably should have been, though. Knocking off some of those canisters. Well, basically, we're trying to shoot off anything that's detachable. I think that's a pretty good general rule of thumb. Varl, did you see that? You gonna come meet me? Whew. That was a long fought battle. Oh no! It dropped weapons! I could have used it, right? Yeah, but I didn't! Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Not much I can do about it. I forget! Yeah, there's no like... This isn't the kind of game where you have hiding spots or whatever. Like, you have to uh, keep dodging around. Around these gigantic monsters. That's gonna be pretty insane. And I can't imagine that this is even one of the biggest monsters that we've seen. This is just the beginning, the tutorial boss. So, yeah. That's, uh... Everything's gonna look pretty scary. Very soon. Yeah, you want me to go there, right? Take all that, thank you. Thank goodness, when crafting in the middle of battle, time slows down enough that it's not really a big issue. Thank goodness. Oh, there are multiple of these. Should have been using them, but it's so chaotic that you don't have time to look around. <gasps> Good lord. Yeah, shooting something like that might have been good, too. This is a lot of salvage. We can take its acidic components and use it for other stuff. If only the awesome room were still around. Data center. Finally. Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia, fix the system, heal the Blight, restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? It's not even just about Elizabeth's dream, but we gotta save the world, make sure that all our friends and family and everybody here have a chance. The whole world has a chance. So that humankind as a race has a chance. Okay, I should find the server room. That looks like the server room to me. I'm close. I have to be. I think you are as well. What to do about Dalgard? Ah, data points are really obvious. Even from really far away. That's good. Good. We should be scanning often then. What to do about Dalgard? <laughs> On to the matter of Mr. Dalgard. He's been a valuable member of Far Zenith for years. Even Peter saw the need for a polished spokesman to preserve anonymity for the rest of us. But with all the new members we recruited to increase funds for the Odyssey's expedited timeline, there are simply not enough berths on the ship to accommodate. Cuts have to be made, and let's face it, Oswald lacks the skill set for our future aims. He'll retaliate if we exclude him, of course, so we'll have to give him a proper send-off. But that doesn't mean that his usefulness must end. We have plenty of source material to generate a digital puppet, giving us the means to... These people are ruthless. People that help them, 
they repay them by quote-unquote giving them a proper send-off, which, you know, I'm pretty sure is code for killing them. The Oswald was the t-shirt guy, the t-shirt hologram guy, and then the, the spy in the Zero Dawn project. Everybody. But it's not that big of an organization, right? 77, the top 77 richest people on the planet at the time when it was made. Please be here. It's here. Gaia version 6.9. Ah. Oh. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, <gasps> Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? A Farzine's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? Oh and no! Functions? Naughty, naughty. Dang it! You want me to handle this, Liz? No. Blasphemers, brood of vipers, with a mighty hand I smite and pour troubles upon you. <sighs> Don't destroy this, I swear. To God. This ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. But it's the mother of all logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute. So no Gaia then. Aloy? Elizabeth was too smart. The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. If Elizabeth was less smart, then we would have had this copy now. Oh my gosh. I got it. For all... I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know? But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Farl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Marad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. Better than going nowhere. Okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. Oh, no. I think Varl will be good for Aloy. She's too independent sometimes. It's good to get some ideas from other people, too. Interlude. I 
by the sun, it's true. She's come back. Bless us. The savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. Oh? I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. What? Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. Oh my god, they made a statue of me. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. The mysterious signal that woke Hades up. We never found out what caused it. I've got a bad feeling about this. I don't know. Looks the same as before. I could pull this thing out of the box. Oh no! That doesn't look good. Whoa! No, he wouldn't. He couldn't. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. We know that by the end of Zero Dawn, Silence put Hades in some kind of a jar. So this whole thing is far from over and it looks like it's about to unfold again. What's that in the background there? Hold on. There's multiple things. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. How goes it, Hammerhead? Oh, I could use your insight, when We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. For now, it seems. Only Whoa. for now. It's raining. Yo, Scrounger! Uh, hi! <laughs> I'd shake your hand, but I'm, I'm covered in dirt. Oh, it's okay. Please, get back to work, it's fine. Just ignore me. Looks like a memorial. Two? Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. And I don't think anybody even knows it as a, as a computer Hades thing. They just think it's some crazy religious monster. Uh, uh, is that a statue of me? 
That's new. He's got some emeralds and all. They really look up to you. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Oh, Eloy, it's not your job. You don't have to do this, although I understand why you feel like you have to, because you're the only person who can. But still, the weight of the world on a little girl... How old is Aloy now? Like, 1920? The weight of the whole world on a girl's shoulders is... It's pretty heavy. I await your findings, champion. Let me know when you've completed your examination. Okay, we gotta get up to the spire. I might be able to climb up the scaffolding at the base of the spire. Uh, maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. Tap circle without touching either stick to jump backwards. Should be able to jump back and reach those ropes behind me. Ah. The spire, the Karja people view it as some sort of um, a god-like thing. That's really just a transmission tower. Caster can't reach that from here. I need to get closer. I should be able to pull that crane closer. There we go. Perfect. Not a dangerous jump at all. Now, how to cross over to the spire. Good. Should be able to get up there now. Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. But it looks like he tricked me. It transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. I never really got the sense that Silence is our friend, though. Like, sometimes our objectives might align, but not all the time. He's not really someone we can trust. Oh, well, doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. Tap. Can I go up there? Looks like this panel's ajar. Can I go up through the inside? Oh god, don't look down. Let's see. Access lift activated. Lucky day. Engaging maintenance configuration. The whole thing is opening up. Huh. Wonder what the Karja will make of this. The gods are speaking. Whoa, it's really cloudy now. There's the note. I see you finally figured it out. 
To be honest, I am surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You raped the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't you one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. Did you see Silence's body was wet? His head was wet. I'm not sure if that's some strange hologram thing, or is it also raining where he is? Storms, rain. Indication of the new problems to come. It's not their choice. Better let Varl and Murad know what I found. Fire open. <laughs> Aloy always has a way of doing the incredible. It's not raining anymore. Is that because I opened up the spire, or is it more of like a symbolic, cinematic thing? Oh, I guess we'll have to see. You went inside it, and it transformed. Almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. Uh, that can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh. And they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. Oh. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now? Please? It's a min. A gift? Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Who's it? Vanasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? She's not wrong. <laughs> oh. Try it on. Yeah, we're not animating that. <laughs> it's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. We're well respected here. Well deserved, I'd say. To learn more about characters from the past, navigate to the character bio section. I need to attach the master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Champion spear. You can toggle the visibility of Aloy's headpieces. 
No, I like seeing it. It doesn't cover my whole head. It's fine. Oh, how mysterious. Now the sun's shining again with no sign of rain. Okay. Let's check out that character bio section. Avad. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll look at all of this in due time, okay? But one one thing at a time. You've earned your first skill point. Skill points are gained by leveling up and completing quests and activities. Choose a skill tree and tap X to open it. Warrior. New melee combos increase melee damage and effectiveness. Trapper. Increase effectiveness of food and traps and the amount of traps that can be placed. Hunter. Increase ranged combat effectiveness and improve weapon stamina and concentration. Survivor. Increase the effectiveness of healing and potions and gain benefits while in low health. Infiltrator. Reduce visibility and movement noise and increase damage dealt while in stealth. Machine Master. Increase the effectiveness of overriding machines and the durability and damage dealt from overridden machines. Includes weapon techniques for spike throwers, yada yada yada. Okay. Different styles of play. I think this is a pretty safe one to go for. Increase range combat. Choose a skill and hold X to learn it, okay? Concentration plus. Increase your concentration limit, prolonging use. Yeah, that's always gonna be useful. We have one point right now, I think. Cool. So that opens up the rest of the stuff here. This is a Valor Surge. Learn all three connected skills to automatically unlock it. Equip a Valor Surge to use it. It's a powerful special ability that requires a buildup of Valor to use. Earn Valor through various actions in combat, like removing components, targeting weak spots, and defeating enemies. So doing good things. Like, skillful things. Each skill tree offers different types of Valor Surges that provide unique advantages. So for this one, it's Range Master, which means... Deal more damage with ranged weapons for a limited time. And we would have to learn... So oh, we just earned one for increasing the concentration. And then if we want the next one, we gotta get this thingy here. Valor Surge Master... Wait, wait what? The, the skill in the middle is the one that's the Valor Surge, right? But then what's this one? Passive boost. Valor Surge Master. Build up Valor faster. Stamina Regen. So we need to get Valor Surge Master before even getting the ranged Master Valor Surge? Okay. Alright. Not, um, okay. This is a passive boost and can be recognized by its circular shape. That's the one that we just got. I mean, it's- the circle is what we just got. Skills in this category provide a constant increase to your basic capabilities. Yep, and I don't have to think about it. That's the best thing. I don't have to learn any new controls. Learning passive boosts multiple times increase their benefits. Outfits and weaves can also improve their effects. Okay. So not that many skills in one tree. Thank goodness. High volley. Oh, this seems pretty cool. Raining arrows on enemies. Okay. Hunter. Potent medicine. Yeah. Uh, at first glance, I don't know. Should we be specking all into one tree or should we spread it all out? Not sure yet. We'll keep playing and find out. Hmm. So where we were just now is still part of the, um, the lands here. I thought it might have been like the Forbidden West already, but no. Now we're going. I think in Zero Dawn, they had mentioned the Forbidden West as a place where one of the previous Sun Kings tried to invade. So he went there, but he never came back out. So it's a bit of a um, mysterious place that we don't really know too much about. And there's other people there that we don't really normally come into contact with. Let's talk to our friends, go around. After having failed to find a backup of Gaia in the far Zenith facility, Aloy and Varl travel to Meridian in search of a new lead. But fine, they are not the only ones seeking answers. Silence! Where are you, Silence? Character bios. Varl, Nora warrior. Varl is a warrior from the rustic Nora tribe. His mother, Sona, is the tribe's war chief, known for her iron will and stern disposition. She trained him to become a skilled hunter. Okay, that's a lot. She trained him to become a skilled hunter, with his little sister Vala following in their footsteps. When the militant cult known as the Eclipse murdered a number of Nora youth, including Vala, Varl teamed up with Aloy to exact vengeance. Since then, the two have shared a bond, fueled by mutual respect and common values. They fought side by side in a number of engagements, culminating in the Battle of the Alight, 
in which the Eclipse were finally vanquished, along with their buried shadow, the rogue AI known as Hades. When Aloy vanished after the battle, Varro tracked her into the wilderness. Although they once shunned her as an outcast, his tribe now believes she is the Anointed, destined to carry out the will of All Mother, their goddess. As such, he feels a spiritual responsibility to assist her that goes beyond mere friendship. Mm, we're getting a lot of external pressure placed on us too. Destiny, the Anointed and all this. We will read all of this in, um, I'll read all of it, okay? But not all at once. So let's read maybe like one or two more. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Dr. Elizabeth Sobek, one of the greatest minds of the 21st century, was the creator and head of Project Zero Dawn, a system that gave life a chance for a future in the face of annihilation. Born on March 11, 2020, and raised outside of Carson City, she enrolled at Stanford University at age 13, earning a Bachelor of Science in Experimental Physics and Computer Science at age 16. She completed her PhD in Robotics and Artificial Intelligence Design at Carnegie Mellon University in 2040, and joined Faro Automated Solutions as a junior scientist in the same year, rising quickly to chief scientist at the age of 22. Basically a prodigy? At FAS, she played a pivotal role in designing green robotics for the environmental cleanup and detoxification efforts of the clawback decade. Clawing back as in, because up until now, people have been ruining Earth. So now we're trying to um, take some ground back in the form of being more environmentally friendly. But in 2048, she suddenly resigned, protesting the company's pivot to automated military technologies. In 2049, she founded Merriam Technologies, a firm dedicated to life-positive robotics. Miriam became one of the world's largest suppliers of green robots and won numerous prestigious awards. On October 31st, 2064, Elizabeth secretly met with Ted Farrow, head of FAS, and he revealed that a swarm of self-replicating war machines that consumed biomass or fuel had stopped responding to commands. Within days, she determined that life on Earth would be annihilated by the swarm and presented her plan for Project Zero Dawn to the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, the only hope in the face of extinction. At its core, Zero Dawn would be a terraforming system designed to return life to a barren Earth long after humans had gone extinct. The system would be governed by Gaia, the most advanced artificial intelligence ever created. But intelligence was not enough. Elizabeth nurtured Gaia's emotional response, ensuring that the AI would care for the world it would watch over. Reluctantly, at Ted Farrow's insistence, she also installed the Master Override, a means to reassert control over Gaia or her subordinate functions. In order to buy Zero Dawn time against the encroaching machine swarm, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs initiated Operation Enduring Victory, a military campaign that drafted millions of decommissioned armed forces and civilians to the front lines. The campaign was built upon a lie. Publicly, Zero Dawn was a super weapons program that would defeat the swarm before it was too late. So as millions perished fighting the war machines, unaware of the project's true goal, Elizabeth led her team in a desperate race against time. They almost didn't make it. In January 2066, the Pharaoh Plague broke through the last line of defense. As project staff relocated to Elysium, the sealed bunker where they would live out their lives, Elizabeth and the other project leads chose to lock themselves inside the Gaia Prime facility in order to complete their work. But as Gaia Prime closed its doors, a tiny but significant gap prevented the facility from completely sealing. I think it was in the order of magnitude of like, millimeters. So, very 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 small gap, but very significant. Detection by the Pharaoh war machines would have meant failure and extinction, and so as the swarm closed in, Elizabeth sacrificed herself to fix the seal from outside the facility. Gaia was safe. In her final moments, Elizabeth returned to her childhood home, holding the pendant given to her by her mother. Nearly a thousand years later, when Gaia was forced to self-destruct in order to prevent a second apocalypse, her last act was to order the creation of a clone of Elizabeth. In the hopes that one day, this reinstantation of her creator would find a way to permanently stop the destruction and heal the world. That clone is the hero of our story, Aloy. Now, this is a biography of Elizabeth, but it's a pretty good summary of the whole story so far too. Basically, people have been ruining Earth, and we had a huge global warming climate crisis, which caused the rise of Pharaoh Automated Solutions because in the beginning, they used to work on green robotics. But then later on, they went into military stuff instead, and Elizabeth didn't like that, so she left. But Ted Farrell kept making more military machines, which led to the glitch where basically robots were trying to take over and kill everybody in the world. And Project Zero Dawn was a plan that Elizabeth had to try to um, not stop the machines because she realized that it's not stoppable. But to ensure that life can continue on sometime after all the machine stuff dies down. It's a lot of people died. Gaia. Artificial Intelligence. Gaia was the controlling intelligence of the Zero Dawn terraforming system, 
fully sentient and designed to care for and nurture life on a restored future Earth. Mother Nature is an AI. In 2064, when it became apparent that a glitch in a swarm of self-replicating feral war machines would exterminate all life on Earth, renowned technologist Elizabeth Sobeck proposed a radical solution. Since there was no way to stop the swarm from consuming the biosphere and wiping out humanity, she would develop a seed that would restore life in the distant future, Zero Dawn. Given unlimited funds by Pharaoh Automated Solutions and the US government, Sobek and a band of engineers and scientists completed this goal in just 16 months. Gaia was the heart of the system, programmed with genuine emotional responses, prompting herself to care about life itself. She would coordinate the efforts of nine different subordinate functions, responsible for deactivating the war machines, purifying the seas and skies, restoring plant and animal life, and spawning a new generation of human beings. For the most part, the system worked as planned. Over the course of a thousand years, the war machines were shut down and the biosphere was regrown. Plants, animals, and humans were brought back to the world. Much of this was accomplished through fully automated animal light terraforming machines built from designs inspired by creatures from the past. But two pivotal things went wrong. Trying to avoid blame for the robot plague he inadvertently created, Ted Farrow purged Apollo, the subordinate function responsible for educating new generations of human beings. As a result, people birthed by the system were released into the wilds without any knowledge of humanity's history and quickly fragmented into primitive tribes. Then, approximately 20 years ago, a mysterious signal of unknown origin infected Hades, the subordinate function responsible for rebooting the system in the event of a non-viable biosphere. Suddenly endowed with malevolent consciousness, Hades seized control of the terraforming system, attempting to trigger another extinction. Gaia destroyed herself to prevent this from happening, but not before Hades and the other subordinate functions fled, embedding themselves in ancient computer systems throughout the land. So the signal was about 20 years ago, which means I'm also about 20? Gaia's destruction wreaked havoc on the world. Terraforming machines, once docile, became hostile to humans, a plight called the derangement by tribes across the land. Even worse, in a misguided effort to reduce human predation on the terraforming system, the Hephaestus subordinate function began building deadly combat machines to attack tribal hunters. And worst of all, Hades began a campaign to recruit human followers to reactivate ancient pharaoh war machines, still trying to wipe out life on Earth. But Gaia knew her destruction would put Earth in peril, so right before she perished, she gave a final order, the birth of a clone of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. She hoped that one day, this clone would defeat Hades and help rebuild the fractured terraforming system. Raised as an outcast of the rustic Nora tribe, the clone grew up to become Aloy, the hero of our story. Banding together with tribal allies, she defeated Hades and its followers at the Battle of the Alight in the Meridian. Even so, Aloy's mission is only half finished. Without a controlling intelligence, the terraforming system will continue to falter, resulting in the eventual destruction of the biosphere. To prevent this from happening, Aloy must find a backup copy of Gaia somewhere among the ruins of the ancient world. Not very successful at it so far. Hmm. Okay, let's leave off that for now. And I believe these ones... It's just the text version. Yeah. Mm hmm. Elizabeth, Travis Tate. Ugh, they anticipated that Far Zenith would try to steal it already. Yeah, look, this isn't even like a generic message. It's tailored for Far Zenith stealing it specifically. Hmm.